Hello, here we are again. Um, today I'm going to try to implement um, another object. Um, still working on Outpost, my current project for the set spectrum 48k. Um, but before I start wor um, working on that, um, I want to review a little bit um, some of the code that I finished last session uh, because um, Juan Luis, I hope I, I'm, I'm not getting his name wrong. Yes, Juan Luis. Um, Juan Luis uh, left a nice comment in YouTube um, suggesting some improvements. And it's a shame because usually um, it, you know, just when I'm finished recording the session, it's very likely that that code doesn't exist anymore uh, because I might look at the code again, even the same night and decide to change things and and well that's what i did but still um yeah i think his comments are very interesting and it's actually improving my code so right so the first thing i did um you know that you know Juan Luis didn't know about this change is that uh, i instructed uh the conditions well i think this condition was already out of of the code, but I started this out of the loop because it didn't make sense. I, it's going to use more space now, but it, you know, we want more speed. Uh, so that's absolutely fine. So if we have the glasses, then we draw, we draw the map in red, otherwise we draw the map dark and normal, you know, it's just normal. Um, so in the case of dark, I did I simplify things. Um, you might remember from the previous video uh, that this, the the ladder, the ladders, the stairs were not really rendering in the way I was expecting. Um, so I just remove that. Everything is going to be black, um, which basically, you know, we only need to set uh, everything to ink blue. And actually. <laughs> Looking at this, this is completely silly um, because, yeah, okay, so basically I'm using, yeah, I'm using the tile zero that is basically black, all the zero. Um, so basically I could be erasing the screen all the area and for that I could be using just a mem set and again use mem set to set this actually this is completely it shouldn't be like this but anyway uh, we can change it very quickly uh, and then in map red and map normal I use the idea from uh, Juan Luis so it is basically use a uh, Pointing, po pointer arithmetic instead of so I was doing a lot of calculations inside the loop and it really doesn't need to be like that because the only thing I need to do we need to do is increment the pointer by one one byte and and that's it so and actually that's another one so if we look at the code now uh, and I think yeah in the right way so See when I walking past the, the steps of the of the ladder, it just renders black. Um, the screen transition is just slightly faster, uh, and the same for red. And if you remember the problems I had previously, you know that snow effect we had when getting the black screen is completely gone; it doesn't exist anymore. Um, so that is good. Yeah, but that, that code, this code for map dark is not, it shouldn't be like this. So it should be more like mem set, then what is the memory address? It is, can I do just a mem set? I don't know. Uh, so 
let's look for erase screen okay so I have a field screen <laughs> this is a slow by space effi efficient well we can leave it like that because I'm thinking I'm not completely sure I can actually make the change I'm suggesting I should be doing um, because of the screen layout of the Specky, I will have to check uh, documentation to be completely sure about that. Um, because yeah, <laughs> I'm filling the screen. I'm filling the screen with the tile, um, and well, it kind of makes sense. Okay, do I have actually? Do I have a way of of erasing the screen? No, I don't have function for that. Interesting. I have a copy screen. And is this a specky? I don't trust this. Any yeah? Oh I got confused now with this address. Anyway. Uh, screen service was kernel in getting away around. So boom, boom, boom. I guess yeah, I will look I will think at that offline. I, I still want to do the changes I want to do today. But I think we can just copy yeah for the way for the layout it may not be as simple as I don't think we can do that. So it's not as simple as because it's not the fu the full screen. Um, we still have here the hat on the bottom. So it's not about the complete screen. See, or you know, it's this part here. Hmm. Anyway, oh, cool. Let's let's do what I had planned for today. Um, I also have changed the. Let's grab something. So I have changed the hood a little bit. So, which is not, I don't know. I, I thought initially this to be lives, but it's not really lives because when the enemy hits you, it's not like you're losing a life. It's like, come on. So, yeah, it's not. It's more like a hit, right? And when you get hit a few times, well, the maps is. Oh, we got it stuck. What's going on? Ah, I need to, to double check that. So basically, mm, okay, let's take another of this. So basically, you can get it stuck in the walls because down the collision detection in down is is definitely wrong so i can go down but not up because it's hitting with the wall here anyway i will fix that um so what i was talking about to, 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 to see it's, it's not really lights it's more like hits right uh so i changed previously it was the the icon of the of the player and and it was x and a number so i'm just going to be just like this and it means that you get energy cells or whatever I, I call them um, health <laughs> you should be able to get over nine uh, actually uh, I don't think I changed that so um, so max lives nine it's not going to be true uh, well, okay, should be 99, really, really fix this to the G spot. Okay, so, right, so I changed that, and I added something else. I added um, an indicator of oxygen. Why? Well, because the opposite is 
in a place that you may not have atmosphere so you know uh, you may not be able to breathe air and so from the point of view of game design what we're going to have is see there is a extra energy over there so from the point of view of game design um, I'm going to use the flags that I think we introduced in the previous session um, so when there's going to be a new flag that is going to basically uh, signal that is not oxygen in in the in the room or you know so we can have an area that it could be out of the outpost um, and then if that's the case uh, we need to change the interrupt handler to have a counter we know that the interrupt handler is being called 50, 50 times per second so every 50 times we call uh, it means that one second is, is passing so basically we can have a counter that we can set a value and when it gets to zero we reduce in one the level of oxygen so knowing that it has to be probably multiple of 50 uh, I don't know maybe well and, and limited to one byte probably unless we want to count seconds I need to think about that actually uh, because if we use 200 it's four seconds. Well, it could be something like that. I mean, four seconds, that would be 40 seconds what you have in there. And that's the oxygen you get by default. Um, and we can increase the limit by grabbing a new object uh, that is going to give you more oxygen. So the basic idea is that, well, the basic object, oxygen, can help me to design uh, small areas that you can cross in 40 seconds, for example. And but you might not have oxygen to go back and forth. So you probably need to choose which way you go. And then you have access to a different area. And then the objects you get. So, you know, so the game is you can choose different paths and you can replay the game in different ways and then um, when you get the extra oxygen that will be a blocker or a requirement for an area where you definitely need more than 40 seconds right so it's more like a key and, and a door because I probably need to add a specific op a specific uh, element like we have for example with um, here with the with the screens right um that allows you to recharge your oxygen uh because i don't want the oxygen to be a, a blocker so I, I don't want it to be a counter against your skill so you need to be very good doing the jumps and doing what you want to do otherwise you run out of oxygen and you know it's game over actually when you run out of oxygen i want to continue using the counter but instead of reducing your oxygen it will kill you it will you know remove hits from from of health from the player um yeah that that would be great um i think it will work fine and and by having a, that specific uh room or rooms where you can get more oxygen um you kind of prevent having that blocker you know or if i don't have a skill to cross this area in the time i have then it's game over for me it will take you longer uh obviously if you need to have several attempts because you need to go recharge your oxygen but i think it's reasonable it will be good game design right so Let's move the player to a different place because what we are is not super convenient. So we can 
for example, uh, let me think. No, let's just stay here. We can just leave it like this. Uh, and instead of glasses, we can set here the other object that is going to be, I think I call it oxygen. Um, let's, let's see before happens like the last time <laughs> that I don't remember how things work and I make a mess. So, uh, 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 so I think it's called oxygen. It makes sense. Why not call the, obs the object that gives you oxygen, oxygen, right? And now in flags, we have one flag that it was one. So I use the second flag, which is going to be two, two because obviously um, you there's no reason to not have a dark room without oxygen, right? That's probably not going to happen, but in theory, that could happen. So we have two flags now. And let me hide tile. Yeah, I have only one screen, so that's why sometimes I make mistakes here. Um, so, okay, let's, let's start checking that. This is still, you know, there's nothing broken like last time. It took me a little bit to get things going. All right. So the flag is here. We're not using the flag for anything at all. And we have the oxygen and we can grab it. And it doesn't have any effect. Right. So I think we're going to need uh, some... some extra variables here so um, now the question is where I'm going to put this um, okay so in game yeah I mean we have a lives and we have oxygen here Okay, so I'm already put the oxygen and I don't remember doing that. Excellent, I've been working on this without remembering. So max oxygen is 99, start oxygen is 10. Um, we're going to need, because the max oxygen is going to be, I guess, when we get the, the extra oxygen deposit, but initially, Mass oxygen should be what we start with, right? So in here, yeah, so oxygen is a started oxygen. And that's going to be what is max. And we're not going to use this, but it will be used, it, it should be taken into account by that entity that's going to recharge the oxygen, right? Okay. Cool. So, where are we going to check for for the oxygen? Because what we did in the, in the last time was related to maps. So it was just how it, the map is drawn. So it was just checking the map flags here. And map flags is available to anyone, right? So, but this is case is different because it has to be evaluated inside the game loop. So, I guess in here, see, in the same way, we queue in events here, like, you know. If there is a net terminal to show around the terminal because we have to do it out of the game loop um, out of these uh, update entities because update entities is doing the erase and draw again with uh, the shore um, exclusive or sprites it's kind of messy so that's why I, I tend to do things outside so if map flags map uh, okay, 
Let's add that flag, right? Um, so my flags is going to be oxygen. Um, oxygen then something will happen and what is going to happen is um, right we need to signal the interrupt that we want to have a counter so um, I don't remember how this works so okay so specky okay how does it work in a specky call <laughs> it doesn't help that i should i make games for different platforms and i call the libraries the same but they work differently so hmm nice uh okay so here i define an intro handler and in this case it's just calling to per play because there's nothing else we're doing um okay and my intro handler is taking care of, of registers and everything so we can just do here um, this and call beeper play and it's the same now this might have an effect that we may not like cheese fat i think it's fine okay so what i'm checking in a very non-scientific way is that this function is in contended memory whilst the beeper play is in USB org and that is not in contented memory. Uh, how it was called? Okay. Ah uh, what? USB org what is that defined? Um, can I go to the file? Yeah, so yeah, so that's the memory address. Actually, this module is called, okay, so we can actually look at that like this. Um, so it's the pair, in it. yeah, so uh, what did I do? What is my, my window? So basically, uh, yeah, it's auto content in memory. But now, this function is not. But it's okay because we the first thing we do is call the beeper. So the beeper is going to run for content in memory and it's probably going to add some delay. But it seems to sound just the same. Right. So. So this is going to be the beeper, right? So, um, so we call it the beeper, but we need something to have the counter. So in here, we're going to have a timer. And before certain day, the my handler is going to be zero and basically a timer then that's it we don't need to do anything else um, why because we're going to set the timer and and every 50 hertz so this is going to be reduced and we get to zero in the game loop we can check that and basically 
do the oxygen bit, right? The only thing we need to do is probably in maps when we set the map here we need the map we spawn entities blah 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 if if map flags is map flag oxygen time timer is going to be uh, timer top okay and okay so so in maps timer tops mm. do we want to do it there let's go put it in mine let's put the timer together so timer top is going to be so we know it's 50 per something. So we said four seconds, it will be 200. Five seconds, right? Okay. Okay, so basically uh, after doing the init of the map, uh, is that right? No, that's not right. We can do it here because there could be some time between doing the the map and doing the loop. Uh, I don't know. I don't know really um, because I believe the player controls the map. So the player has map something. Here, like exit map down for example and exit map down what it does is set the map sets the map and set the map is probably calling to init map because I'm lazy I'm probably using let me see what is set map? I see an init map here. Oh, there is actually a set map. Oh, so init the map, source the entities, and draws immediately. And let's try that. What what I don't want is that um, a lot of time is passing between this and getting into the loop but well it's not going to be it's not be 100 percent accurate five seconds in the first loop i guess and and not any of them because this is being updated like um let me see maybe i'm wrong this is updated 16 frames per second so it's not going to be super accurate but fair enough I think okay so so if if oxygen I need to investigate why when I open um, see beam is currently not doing the indentation properly and I think it's something in the in some of the plugins I do to do set uh, set ID uh, assembler is kind of is kind of breaking things um, I don't know why <laughs> I need to investigate that right so if there is oxygen then we remove oxygen and let me see I got some noise I don't know if you heard that but I'm going to close things here so we don't get mails and stuff okay so um what i was doing okay so there is oxygen reduce oxygen otherwise 
as player heat right players heat so there is a player heat yeah that is actually doing things so player heat will take care of the hot uh, okay so another thing I need to change here is um, when I draw the hut, there is a control here that the hut is only updated once after updating the entities. So if we reduce the oxygen, we need to ensure that the hut will be updated, but only the oxygen. Right. Okay. Uh, now the question is, do we want this to make noise when you're losing oxygen? Probably. Uh, so yeah, that sounds in sounds here. I have an effect for the oxygen going up. And the priority is that it will sound on top of all this stuff here because I have a priority base player. So I want the, the, the player to be completely sure. I, I want to be sure that whoever is playing knows that he is charging oxygen. So I want the sound to be special. Uh, and we probably want to do, I don't know, we probably want to make it so very, very specific. I don't want to have... Uh, like a text saying, you oh, know, you got extra oxygen and maybe um, my tiles or my graphics are not clean enough. So I'm probably going to have some effect like making the noise and make the counter of oxygen increase slowly going up. Um, okay. Uh, so what oh, sound? Because I don't think I have a good sound for that. Uh, maybe pick up to I don't know we can't use ox the, it's just the sounds in this book is just especially with this um, engine uh, it's kind of it sounds like farts to be honest so let's do the second part of the pickup and see how it sounds all right Slowly compile it. Uh, what? Reaper Q. Uh, because I'm not using Reaper here. So. Right. Okay. Let's try it out. Uh, sounds because that's a generated file, so I need to include sounds here, and we can run it now because it's going to compile and work. It's going to be great. Optimism. Okay, so we know that. <laughs> Very impressive, very impressive. All right, so you're probably watching this and you know already what is the problem because it looks different, right? Um, when you are actually watching this. Okay. When you're watching the video, it's super easy, but when you're writing the code and talking to the camera and all of the stuff, it's not that easy. So let's see if I'm wrong. Yeah, I'm still wrong. What? Look at that. Wow. Uh, what's going on? I'm confused now. So timer top is 250. Oh. 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 
Ah, oh, stupid me. Sorry. So, and the timer is zero. Then, if it's oxygen, oxygen, do that. Otherwise, don't do it. Yes. It's not actually. I was not actually looking at the timer. So, it was losing uh, oxygen once, you know, 50 times per second. That's much better, right? Oh, it's working. Nice. We get out. It stops. Yeah, it does. And because we set uh, the timer top when we initialize the map. So basically, you get out and get in, you get another five seconds. Uh, so let's go uh, on the next one. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, that's five seconds. Perfect. Let's wait and see that the oxygen never goes. Okay, now we should be losing lives, right? <laughs> okay, it's because the timer has to be set independently of... Okay, instead of testing, maybe I should be reading the code that I'm writing. I know, crazy. Okay, so let's do something else. Because... We want to. I pay that. I want the player to know that something is happening. Because you might hear the noise. Um, the character is not doing anything special, right? So you might miss the fact that you're losing oxygen, especially the first time that it happens. Although. You know, we can do stuff happen uh, with level design, right? I know, it's not. The border is not showing. Oh, because the player resets the border. So in reality, for this to be accurate, uh, is wait for keyboard now. <laughs> um, wait. Have you seen? No. Um, I don't remember, but I think it's something related to the, to the bus. Uh, uh, because... I don't remember, actually. But I know that is uh, the floating bus, the one we need to uh, wait for. Is it? Or is AV thinking of? Uh, does it really matter? Uh, no. No, I don't remember. So now I'm waiting for V thinking player hit. Because if we wait for. If we wait for. If we wait for the floating boss, the floating boss happens before the V sync. So we wouldn't have enough time to actually see the border at all. So this is how it should be. Let's take a look. OK. Yeah, it works now. I don't know. It's actually showing in the video. Um, yes, you see the, the flashing flash. Cool. So that is working and it looks actually fine the code looks okay uh, what else we can do now well we could go and okay so that's the oxygen 
let's look at the pickup. So the pickup at the moment, the only one that is doing anything is selecting the hash pickup. And, and in this case, I hate that. I'm going to close the editor. Which is a pain, but okay. So do I need to know that I have the oxygen pickup? I probably not. Uh, why? Because because we are controlling that with the with this variable here. So so it's basically where? What is that? Oh, it's in game. So in game, max ox oxygen is is the one that is going to make a difference so when we pick up the ox oxygen uh, so we're going to use the oxygen effect and then in oxygen max oxygen sorry it's going to be max oxygen And we will draw the metatile, and we don't need to know that we have the pickup. Okay. We can actually leave it like this. Okay. We know that. Okay. Uh, well, I don't know how to say, but definitely, I might forget about this and have problems in the future. But for now, I think it's going to be perfect just like this. So this is going to give us more max oxygen, but we probably, I don't know, max oxygen 99. Is that a lot? So, it is 99 per 5. So it's 8 minutes. It has to be a very big area, right? But with 8 minutes, it's very unlikely that you need to recharge the oxygen. Or maybe you do. I mean, if you're mapping the area, I don't know. We can leave it like that for now. Uh, and leave it at 99. Or it could be just 50. Uh, so 50. For five seconds, that is four minutes, which is pretty much half. Mm. It's still pretty, it's a lot, I think. Yeah, 99 sounds too much. Let's, let's do. 50 maybe I don't know and okay so but this is not going to have any effect because this is just setting the top limit and playing the sound um, and I guess if I want to have that effect of charging, I'm going to need uh, add oxygen now to oxygen, then uh, something like this. And and if so, 
y uh, oxygen well let's change the sign because it's kind of more what we mean right if the oxygen is not the oxygen we want to have we increase the oxygen otherwise we don't and we need to let uh, oxygen but this is going to be very quick okay let's see how it looks it will be very quick or maybe that's the effect because it's going to be going from going it's going to go from 10 to whatever right to 50 but it's not doing anything Uh, so to, to oxygen is zero. If to oxygen and oxygen is different to oxygen, then increase the oxygen, right? And Yeah, we forgot to set the target when we get that one. What? Nothing is happening. Hmm. Well, okay. Um, to ox so max oxygen to oxygen. <laughs> Okay, close enough, but not really. And C is absolutely fine with that. Okay. Okay. This looks perfect. And now we have four minutes of oxygen. Great. Good stuff. Okay, so blah, 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 blah. I mean, there's obviously some things we can improve. Um, so here, for example, we could be doing here oxygen if it's less than 10 then we could be doing the text in red Let's see oh yeah that's great otherwise white I mean it's just something very simple but so basically <laughs> what? It's ignoring us. It's the oxygen. What? It's not working. Why? Ah, because I. Brilliant. Should be red. Yeah, it's under your thing. Let's see. I mean, it's not, but at least you know that something bad is going to happen because obviously, the first time that it happens, you don't know what is going to happen. And, but anyway, you have to. 
you have 10, it's going to be 50 seconds, right? You have a minute. Less than a minute. And then when you do this, you get your box. Perfect. I think this is what I wanted to do today. So we don't care about that one and everything else. Let's take a look. So on pickup, we have the action of the oxygen, which is fine. We don't need to know if we need to have the oxygen afterwards. Um, here are the people and so on because, because we're making noise. Yeah. Then the oxygen will draw in a different color depending on the oxygen you have. We have two oxygen that is going to tell us when we need to increase the oxygen. Um, right, that's fine. Then have the flags, the timer. And yeah, this looks okay. I mean, have tested it already so as far as I can tell it's fine. The people in the ESA in the interrupt service routine here without being contented memory is not great but I think it's fine. And I will say this is fine. Keep it. So right, and I think this is going to be all for today because it's what I wanted, and for a change. It's less than a one hour session, which is fine. So we can get it in and out, no problem. Then we wait five seconds. We start to lose oxygen. Oh, that's interesting. I mean, it's never going to happen like this. No, it's not going to happen. I guess because you could be having the oxygen going up. I don't know. I think th the sound all the time is going to be really, really too much. I don't know. I mean, you lose in oxygen. You you might die. You want to know, right? Um, but it's definitely, probably, I would say, too much. Uh, well, what other songs do we have? We could be using one of the steps. Could be. It's like a tick, right? I mean, it's still going to be annoying. Let's see. Going to be a lot of pressure, I think. <laughs> I may just leave the sound when you have last ten, you know, ten units of oxygen. But so okay, uh, so that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed the session. Um, I need to look at that bug in the stairs um there's something in the 
collision detection uh, for sure um, that is not it's affecting when the um, character is jumping up and no one is going down uh, I need to investigate that because otherwise you can get stuck but it's not just completely stuck because uh, as we saw um, you can actually escape that situation uh, yeah, but it feels really, really, really bad. Um, and it's in the case like this. So, yeah. So. And I guess when I was testing it, I thought, oh, you can get a little bit on the wall. But it's okay because you can go, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of specific when you get stuck. Because now <laughs> I don't see the AVA. Yeah, it doesn't look like I can reproduce that. I mean, obviously, there it's very clear that is um, because it was it was down here, right? Yeah, because this this is longer. You can go up, you can go down. So I definitely need to adjust how you enter the stairs, the ladder. Anyway, cool. So we'll fix that. Um, but other than that, this is looking good. Um, I have designed already um, seven objects, so I will continue implementing those objects. I'm also doing um, a little bit of level design every now and then um, because I think I can. So I have 17k, which is a lot. Uh, so anyway, I plan to put a lot of screens. Uh, so yeah, I think uh, seven, eight objects is going to be enough, I think, to make it this interesting uh, with different behavior. So it, this puzzle is like a key and a door, or, or in this case, well, because in reality it works like a door, right? Um, if you need to cross an area or navigate some screens where you don't have oxygen and and you need to get the you know a specific object so you have four minutes something to cross that area then obviously it was like a key um, and a door really um, and yeah I will continue implementing those and hopefully when I finish <laughs> we'll have a game and it will be fun to play so I hope you enjoyed this session. Uh, I think it has been successful, uh, definitely better than the previous one. Um, and remember, if you like this, just like, subscribe, and all those things that you do on YouTube. And see you next time. Bye.